Welcome to the first episode of our mini podcast. Uh, today we're diving into the life of an intern at the European Space Agency in the EAC Center in Cologne, where they train astronauts. Welcome, Juan, to our podcast. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Juan, for being here today. So, let's hear about your story, because today it's your last day of six months. That's right. Yeah. So, let's start from your background. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm Juan. I am half Colombian, half Spanish. Um, and I studied in Bogota my Bachelor of Digital Storytelling, mm -hmm. or Digital Narratives. So it's kind of, uh, you know, studying media, but also video, a little bit of journalism, art. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm an intern here. I'm part of the LAM team, yep. which is part of the space training team. Um, mm -hmm. What we do is that we make videos uh, for the space training team when they require to explain something to the astronauts. Uh, but also we help other teams at the AC when they require our, our help for photos, videos, or any type of. So. Let's uh, talk about your day-to-day -day experience. So as an intern, how do you start the day and what different activities would you have to deal with, for example? Okay, well, the first thing is that uh, I have a team, so that's a really good thing to mention. <laughs> you get to the office, you answer some emails, then you work on some high-priority tasks, you know, that could be yeah. working on a video for an astronaut or taking some pictures of, yeah. of some visitors or something. And you normally receive uh, small tasks as well from uh, different teams. It could be for PR purposes or communications. Yeah. Or maybe a colleague needs a picture for LinkedIn. And yeah. we do all of those things. A good thing because every day is a different day. Yeah. So yeah. You, you're never really bored mm. because you're learning new stuff. And even if you have a new task which may require um, I don't know, maybe to animate something, then you will have the time to learn that and to put it into practice. Yeah, that sounds like a really exciting day-to-day uh, -day life. Definitely. Yeah. Let's talk about the challenges and the highlights. So, there was one task. It was not that hard, but it was definitely time-consuming. And it was basic basically to transform these presentations. They are like PowerPoint presentations. And the main task was for us to uh, make a video out of them. So how can we uh, make this kind of boring or very technical mm. information in a easy in a more easy to understand product you know yeah so yeah. you need to work with a lot of people because you have the skills to make to make that but then uh, someone needs to approve the script you know because you're dealing and you're working with specific concepts and yeah this is going to go to ISS you know this is going to go to the astronauts yeah uh, so you know in, you need to follow some steps uh, and then after the script is approved uh, then that's when uh, you know you start working on the computer exactly. part. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, fun. Yes, with mo motion graphics, with video editing, with using you know archive and all other type of resources, and that's definitely fun because uh, you learn a lot about the stuff that's happening up there. You learn a lot about the experiments that they they will work on, uh, and you're the person in charge of uh, making this information kind of easy to understand for them you know, for the astronauts. And that's definitely one of the main things um, that I did here. And it was a lot of fun. Let's talk about the application process. Well, in my case, I saw, uh, you know, the position on the internet. Uh, I applied, that was maybe a year ago. Uh, after some time, you receive an email that says, yeah, you know, we actually want to have an interview with you. <laughs> uh, so when would you be available for that? And then you just go to the interview. In my case, it was with my tutor. Uh, he's a really nice guy uh, and I was kind of nervous at first but then when I was at the interview um, there were maybe you know two or three questions that I was not expecting at all kind of like icebreakers and that made my interview really easy so one thing I will mention is that many people there are of course nervous because of you know ESA you think about ESA, ESA how important it is and then you think maybe they're gonna be like really you know kind of strict and you feel this pressure yes. and after those icebreakers of course they ask me more about you know the skills uh, i have and how will i do certain things you know kind of asking to see if i had the the experience the knowledge the interest as well okay and yeah yeah you just answer that and and after maybe some weeks or months they tell you uh, yeah, you're in. When are you um, available to start the internship? 
That's, that's great. So they look at how your interview matches with your CV. Yes. So exactly. they want to confirm your skills are there and how you relate to other people. Your personality also matters, I would say. Many people, they, they have a bachelor, you know, mm. they have a master's degree, but then how do you behave in certain conditions? How do you solve problems? How do you yeah. work in a team, you know, with people from different countries, from different backgrounds? Here at EAC, you you're exposed to people of different ages and backgrounds. You really have to learn to be comfortable working with anyone. Which aspects of your experiences that you had before do you think helped you get into this position? Well, in my case, um, I'm just finishing my bachelor. I did an internship before, you know, and mm -hmm. I think that was kind of a good thing because it gave me the tools uh, to work in an international context. Uh, it was also an international organization, so you know, it's kind of nice to know that, okay, this new person who will arrive is not completely new to this. I also learned a lot of things in that internship that applied here uh, or that were useful here, and it's how to deal with like uh, senior positions. You know, when you combine that, you know, with the previous experience, it's kind of um, good to know that this person, in my case, me, who will arrive, will not learn from scratch. Of course, that person will learn new things every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not gonna be like a heavy thing for the team, you know? It's exactly. Like, oh, we're gonna need to teach this person. No, no, no. They expect you to know certain things, uh, but they also expect you to learn here new things. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I think generally they want to look uh, in their candidates for previous examples of them getting involved mm -hmm. uh, in extra academic activity. So that kind That's of shows that you already uh, want, uh, you've already some experience in this external world, external to university maybe. Yeah. And uh, then, of course, they expect that you might not know everything at first, but that's, you know, you will learn throughout the process and it's totally expected to be that way. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Let's look at the future because you're at the end of this amazing experience. Now, how do you think this uh, experience here helped you to understand better yourself and you know, find your path for your career. I think you meet a lot of people. Uh, when you think about ESA, ESA, you first, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind is like scientists and engineers. And then you realize yeah. okay, there's actually like doctors, there's like human resources people, admins people, uh, media, a lot of media people. And I was uh, kind of surprised to find that because you don't really, I mean, of course, you know that these institutions, they require people for communication. You have no idea how it works. And then being here, you know, you realize, okay, there's like a huge team and there's like a team for social media, but then it's not the same thing for video, you know, and it's not the same thing for outreach. And they work together, but there's like people for one of those things, one of uh, each, each of those things. And it kind of gives me a, a perspective on how it works. Now, at least I know maybe more or less what I want. Uh, it kind of, kind of gives, gives you a north. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that uh, my tutor says is this experience is not going to give you a job and it will definitely get you an interview for your future. And I think that's kind of valuable. It gives you a glimpse into this type of working environment. And if you do find yourself liking it, this is a really good tool to understand what you want to do in the future. Definitely. And it, yeah, it helps a lot to have this uh, on your curriculum. Definitely. It will land you an interview, I feel, this way. <laughs> Let's go with the wrap-up. Do you have any words of encouragement, uh, any advice you want to give to the viewers that might be interested in the space industry? They could be you know, students and they are considering to apply at ESA. What words would you like to give them? And first thing would be just to apply, you know, like have some confidence in yourself because there's people who have applied here and they were not expecting to get in and now they're here and uh, a lot of people they have the talent they have the abilities and they're just you know they they, they have um, fear because they they feel like they're going to be rejected but the only way to find out that is to try and you will realize that uh, you know you can be surprised <laughs> i agree you can be surprised um also if you don't get in i will encourage you to apply again there's many people here who they have applied Two, two, three times. Yeah. <laughs> After all those uh, attempts, now they're here. Uh, so that's kind of good. Also, be kind of uh, tr truthful to yourself. You know, don't exaggerate things. Here, they don't care that much about the title or where you get your bachelor or something. But if you have the interest, if you have like a nice attitude, that's more than enough. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this uh, with everyone else. I hope this interview helped maybe you guys understand better 
if you are interested in this opportunity. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.